Get that. When you start talking about faith in God, faith is not saying to God, God, I want you to do it this way. And this is the way that I want it to go. Faith is saying that, God, I have a plan, but I'm open enough to be receptive if you want to direct me in a different way. And it's very different to say, God, I want you to follow my plan as opposed to God. If there is a different way that you want me to go, I'm willing to follow your plan. And here's my question. Are you praying for God's approval or are you praying for God's guidance? I want to ask you the question. Are you praying for God's approval or are you praying for God's guidance? Are you waiting for God to show you the way or have you made up your mind about the way that you want to go? And I want you to get this, that God does not mind when you make a plan, but he expects you to be humble enough to be able to pray. Nevertheless, when he directs you another way, it's the prayer of Jesus. Now, He, Jesus is the son of God. He says, God, you can make this happen another way. You can do this another way. You are all powerful, but nevertheless, and I think that's a difficult prayer to pray. When you already have a plan in mind and God is all powerful and he he can do it however he wants to and you say God I'd rather not go this way and God is saying but this is the way that I need you to go my question is are you humble enough to say all right God nevertheless not my will but let your will let your will be done. And I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that tonight. Understand that sometimes God is not going to stamp his approval on your plan, but sometimes God wants to direct you into his plan. And I say it like this. When you make a plan and God leads you in a different way, it's because God has a greater purpose. And I want you to get that tonight. Get that tonight. That sometimes you can have a plan worked out in your mind and God doesn't go according to your plan because God has a greater purpose and you got to train yourself. If there was a number one tonight, the number one would be learn to pray the nevertheless prayer. Nevertheless, God, I want to talk to him, but nevertheless, I want to talk to her, right? I want to get her number. But nevertheless, I want to go down this road, right? But nevertheless, God, I need you to direct me. It's not just asking for direction, right? It's being receptive when God gives his direction. And I want to stress that. Get this, that they asked Jeremiah to consult God for them.